Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Will's Kitchen Table. Today guys, Chef Will want to make uh, some homemade mayonnaise. A quick way of making your homemade mayonnaise. I'm just going to show you guys. I got one egg right here. I'm going to use. I cracked that right into my bowl there. Wash my hands. And this is pretty simple guys. This is a simple, simple way of making your mayonnaise. All right. And I'm just using my hand mixer right here. All right. I'm not putting it in a food processor or anything like that. Um, I got some oil right here. One cup of oil, my one egg, and we're going to start. All right. Just pour in some oil. gonna add a teaspoon of uh, mustard powder to this and a half a teaspoon of salt the rest of my oil also gonna add um, half a teaspoon of vinegar Guys, this is really simple, easy to make at home. So the vinegar will help preserve preserved your mayonnaise. You gotta get it in the fridge as well. If you want to make a flavored mayonnaise, whatever you want to put inside of it, you can. But this is just a quick way of getting you run out of mayonnaise. You want to make some quick mayo. This is the way to get it done. Pretty simple and easy. And you get it right into a jar. We're just going to do it in a short while. I'll show you guys. So this is how simple it is, guys. Your homemade mayonnaise right there. Pretty simple. Easy to make. I'll get it into that jar that I have right there. So guys, you just put it right inside. Get it in your fridge. That's your homemade mayonnaise right there. Get every bit of it out. Look at the texture of that. It's beautiful. Really nice. Loving it. So 
So guys, so as I said, that's just half a teaspoon of salt I put in, uh, half a teaspoon of vinegar, and I use white vinegar, and I used um, half a teaspoon of mustard powder. And you can also put some lemon juice inside, if you like. And that's how simple it is. So guys, I decide to uh, make a little bit of um, aioli sauce from that beautiful homemade mayonnaise we make. Um, so I'm just gonna show you guys what I normally put inside. So just get some of the mayo, I got some paprika here. Um, I just wanna use this um, sauce for uh, my panini sandwich I'm gonna make later. Um, so this is a uh, two teaspoon of paprika and a teaspoon of garlic powder and put it inside the mayo right there there's a lot of things you can do with it i'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of um chili so that's chili powder give it some heat then i'm going to add some mustard powder to it guys about a quarter of a teaspoon each right there a little bit of black pepper All right just a couple shakes to it and guys I think it's best to use um, olive oil it's just healthier to make your mayonnaise the one I use is uh, light olive oil But you can use the nice rich uh, virgin olive oil to make it as well. So guys, this is a nice way you can use up the mayonnaise to put on your sandwich. Your sandwiches, guys, this is beautiful to use. Check that sauce out. I'll try it, see how spicy it is. All right, I'm just gonna check it out right now. Wow, not bad. Can take a little bit more spice, guys. Don't really taste the heat in there. So I had another quarter teaspoon to that. Touch more mustard powder. And just give it a nice mix again. You can also add avocado, whatever you like, to your mayonnaise. Beautiful. All right, gonna get another spoon. Give it another try. Pretty good now. Mm -hmm. Tastes a little bit of heat now, guys. Wow, that's nice. Wonderful. See that? Beautiful for your panini sandwich. Whatever sandwich you're making, it's just great to put on there. Um, and your burger buns, you have it a nice burger. This is perfect for it. All right, all right, so. That's it, now I'm gonna say thanks for watching. Keep on liking and sharing the videos. Um, if you're new to the channel right now, don't forget to subscribe, share with your friends, your families. Um, I just wanna say thanks to each and every one, all right? Catch you in the next one.